Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix enable to verify apps cartlet when you are going to download those cartlet or when you are going to verify that app and it's not working for you and you're facing the error like that, just simply you have to close this page. First of all, you have to open the settings app and first of all, you have to make sure that you are properly connected with internet. If you're using Wi-Fi, turn into mobile data and if you're using mobile data, turn into Wi-Fi. And after that guys, what you need to do is just simply have to go to screen time from here. You have to tap on content and provide restrictions from here. You have to tap on iTunes and app store purchases. Now from here, you have to go to installing apps from here. You have to make sure that you have allowed this one. Now go back and also make sure that you don't allow the required password. Just simply have to check on don't require, then go back. And after that, check if it's working or not. If it's still not working for you guys, then what you need to do is just simply you have to tap on general from here guys. You have to make sure that you are using the latest version of the of software once you have done this guys what you need to do is just simply have to close this page then open settings now after that guys what you need to do tap on general from here you have to make sure that you have enough storage in your iphone once you have done this close this page open setting the main reason is that why you are facing the error like this just simply have to make sure that your data and time is correct and you have set automatically and also make sure that your time zone is correct then go back and the second reason is that just simply have to make sure that you are not connected to VPN. If you are connected with the VPN, just simply disconnect it. And after that, hopefully your problem will be fixed. And if once you guys, then what you need to do guys, just simply have to open the setting app. And after that guys, what you need to do, tap on your Apple ID and then you have to sign out the Apple ID. Once you have signed out the Apple ID, just simply have to turn off your device and then sign in your Apple ID again. And after that, hopefully your problem will be fixed. So that's pretty much for today's video. If the video is helpful, please like and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.